Hey everybody, Crochet B here with another story of Tales from the Carpet Trail. What's in my cup? Toasted caramel whiskey. Why? Because we're Canadian, eh? Okay, so a lot of you liked my story that last time that I talked about the, uh, the fella from the Centaur. So I want to tell you another one, sort of like that. So one of the great things about my job is I get to meet all manner of people. Um, uh, rich people, famous people, interesting people. And if there's one thing about me that Sandy would confirm is that I absolutely can get along and relate with anybody, no matter who they are. So like I like to say, I've dined with kings and queens and I've dined on pork and beans. It doesn't matter who you are, you are a friend to me. Anyway, this lady, um, one of the neat things on Vancouver Island is it's full of uh, people that are lots of rich folks, lots of regular people, but some people that are very, very creative in, in how they make a living and how they make money. Uh, we don't have a lot of like factories or industry here. Um, we used to be heavily uh, resource based, fishing, logging, that sort of thing, and that's kind of been a bit on a decline. So people have had to become very entrepreneurial and very creative in how they do some things. So I met a lady, so everybody's dream, and you see these ads um, all the time on Facebook or whatever about how you, you can learn to um, sit on the beach on your laptop doing nothing and make tons of money literally doing nothing. And of course, almost all of it is a scam, but I actually have met somebody that's been sort of able to make that happen. So there's a lady that lives in Parksville, BC. Um, she lives in a really lovely subdivision called San Perio, which is along the river in Parksville. So a lot of these homes are uh, basically on the ocean, on the river, very nice. Um, and she's quite a young gal. And often when I come to people's houses, we get talking and they ask, you know, I asked them what they do for work or whatever. And um, so I said, you know, so what do you do for a job? And she says, uh, nothing, I don't work. And I said, well, how can you afford not to work? She says, well, she said about six years ago, um, I invented something called the waspinator. So the waspinator is one of these, I'm sure you've seen them. They're like a paper uh, wa artificial wasp nest that you hang on your, your eaves on your roof and the idea is the wasp will see what it thinks is another wasp nest and it will leave not wanting to build their nest close by and it'll go to the next house over or whatever. So I asked her, so how did you get the idea to do that? She says, well it wasn't even my idea. My grandmother used to make them when I was a little girl out of paper bags. So that's where I got the idea from. So she started uh, making them uh, and she would sell them at like craft fairs and flea markets and things like that and she did that for two or three years and basically took it as far as she could go and then one day she met somebody um, and she signed a licensing agreement um, and so basically now every single month around the 15th she goes to her mailbox and she takes out her royalty check and it is enough money so that she never has to work again and she's 32 years old so i said to her what what the hell do you do with yourself all day and she said whatever i want to i've got the freedom to uh to do whatever i want and i says well surely you're not gonna you know do nothing for the rest of your life and she said oh i'll think of of my next idea but for now i'm just enjoying life and i'm going wow it's hard to believe that you could come up with a single idea that's not even your own idea um, and license it out and actually be able to do that. So she gave me, and I can find it, I wanted to show it to you. She gave me one of the original waspinators in its original packaging and she signed it for me. So it's another one of my sort of souvenirs of things that I've, I've picked up along the carpet trail. Sandy's probably put it somewhere or the cleaners or whatever, but somewhere in this house, probably under about 20 or 30 balls of yarn, is this uh, waspinator. So anyway, there's another interesting story for you. So um, we have an interesting island here full of interesting people. And um, I've got other stories that I can tell you. I want to sort of do them sort of one at a time of interesting people that I've met or, or things that I run into. 
Um, also, I wanted to put it out there that if any, if any of you have any questions that you want to ask of me, either about um, anything to do with, with carpets or carpet, carpet cleaning or anything about me personally, you're more than welcome to ask them in the comments. Maybe I'll, I'll do a segment where I have answers, answers to questions or whatever anybody wants to do as well. So anyway, that's our story for this week on Tales from the Carpet Trail. Bye, everybody.